Hey, what's up guys? This is Tariel. Welcome back to my channel. About a year ago, I've made a video on how to record your internal sound with a Mac QuickTime player. That video kind of blew up, solved a lot of people's problem. I read through every single one of the comments. I also noticed another group of people, they're, they're still having some issue here and there and they have a newer system. So here I am again with another video to you guys. This video is going to work on a newer system, all the foundation and basics are the same follow the instruction along the way if you have any questions drop it in below i'll do my very best to help you out and if this video turned out solving your problem and you're able to record your screen with internal sound give the thumbs up and consider subscribe to the channel all right without further ado guys let's dive in so the first thing let's come to my mac I'd like to show you what my current system is. My current system is Mac Catalina. So this setup should work on any Catalina system or newer ones. I'll leave the link in below. Go find the link, download a black hole first. This is the GitHub page. All you need to do is scroll down. You see download installer. When you click on it, it's gonna open up this website. I'm gonna punch in my email address and my first name, last name. I'm gonna click subscribe for free Mac download. As soon as you've done that, within a few seconds, you should be able to receive an email click on that link click on download button here and I'm gonna save on my desktop and then just double click on it and install this black hole plugin so I'm gonna click on OK continue install your password for the Mac give it a 10 seconds or so done so that's it so this is all we need to do for this stage so we have successfully installed the black hole command space, open up spotlight search, or come to this magnifying glasses here. It'll open up the same window. We're going to do audio MIDI setup. For those who are curious, I can let you know, click on the application utility is this one right here. It's audio MIDI setup. You're going to see this window pop up and uh, black hole 16 channel is right here, sitting right here. The CH means 16 channels, okay? So what do we do is there are two stage from here. First one, you wanna click on this plus sign. So you wanna create an aggregate device. So click on it, it's gonna open this plus sign. And this is meant to be used for a quick time player. Later on, I'll show you guys where to use this option. Just for now, let's name this quick time player input, okay? This is quick time players input option. So here, what we, what we do is we're going to check a few things. The number one thing we need to check is make sure audio black hole is checked. Okay. So second of all, very important. Some people want to record their microphone sound as well. Meaning not only you want to record internal sound, you also want to record your speech or you're trying to give it a lecture or you're trying to explain some things, right? You want to record your microphone. It could be your headphone jack or external microphone like this. So if that's the case, you want to make sure you click on built-in microphone. From the previous video, people are saying when they are recording the internal sound, there's some environment noise coming in. That's because the built-in microphone is clicked, meating your computer built-in microphone is open to receive and to record your environmental sound. For those who do not want to record their microphone, they only want to record their internal sound. If that's the case, make sure you uncheck this and only leave a black hole 16 inch. That's done for this stage. We're going to click on plus sign one more time. This time we're going to create a multi output device. And then we're going to name this green record with audio. As soon as you've done that, make sure your black hole 16 channel is on as well as your built-in output is on that is a setup for this there's a little bit of background information i'd like to provide to you guys of how this is working black hole is a medium channel it's sitting in the center listening to our computer internal audio and it's receiving that signal and pass it to quicktime player so quicktime player is able to receive the signal from black hole which comes from your internal audio that's pretty much how it works i'm gonna put this on the side 
You'll want to open system preferences, sound, come to sound, just come to output. So make sure your output is what we created here, screen record with audio. So I'm going to come here, click on screen record with audio. Okay. And now I'm going to put this on the side. Let's give it a test round. I just pull out a copyright free music for us to test out. And second of all, I'm going to click on QuickTime Player. When you when you open up QuickTime Player, come to File, come to Screen Record. Okay, the third option here. This is a newer Mac OS um, layout, right? The older ones are slightly different than this one. You're going to see this option says Options. Just click on it. Make sure the input, okay, the reason we named it QuickTime Player input is for us to quickly navigate them because we're using QuickTime Player. That's why I named this QuickTime Player. Make sure this one is selected. Some people want to show their mouse clicks and some people don't. If you want to show your mouse click, make sure it's checked. Everything's all good. I'm going to click on record and now it's recording. And then I'm going to play this music. Okay. Again, if you look at my sound output, I selected screen record with audio. And if I come to my audio MIDI setup, I have two of them set up. Okay. Again, QuickTime Player input is black hole and built in microphone. So right now I'm capturing not only my internal sound as well as my microphone, my internal microphone. My screen record with audio is black hole selected. The reason we select built-in output here is because we want to be able to hear the sound. If you don't select this option, what's going to happen is you are still recording internal audio, but you won't be able to hear it from your microphone or your speaker. I completed muted my speaker. This should only record my voice from my internal building microphone. And now I'm going to turn it up. So yeah, that was a test round. So what do we do now is if you've done your screen record and everything, just make sure come to your sound output and switch it back to headphone. If you don't have a headphone here, it's going to show built-in output. So guys, this worked out perfectly in my favor. Pause this video, go try it out, download Black Hole, install it, follow the instruction, give it a shot. I'm going to include a few troubleshoot for those who's continuously having trouble here. Troubleshooting number one. When you're trying to record, refresh your browser, you're recording with a QuickTime player, and then it keeps making this circle. It says it's loading, it won't play. That was the first issue I had. Quick way to do it is can make sure your sound settings is open. Okay, all you need to do is click on headphones or building outputs and quickly switch it back to screen record with audio. So in this case, your browser or any video player should be able to continue playing. Number two, as I mentioned before, or I like to bring it up one more time. When you do QuickTime player input under audio MIDI setup, if you want to record your mic, then you do want to check built-in microphone, meaning not only you're recording the internal sound. When you speak to your computer or to your headphone, it will also record your voice along with internal audio. If you do not wish to record a built-in microphone, you just want to purely record the internal sound, then simply uncheck this option. So built-in microphone, you want to uncheck. The rest are all the same. Troubleshoot number three. Some people have a challenge installing this kind of plugin to their computer. When you double click continue to install, it says installation failure. Uh, one of the solution for it is come to your settings, come to security and privacy and then unlock by clicking on here, enter your password. And then you're going to see some sort of a window here. It's going to say, would you like to allow or not? Right? So simply click on allow, click on the installation package and install it one more time. Troubleshoot number four, you did all these settings and it still is not working really well. You do want to restart your computer for your computer to recognize these plugins or drivers. This is going to be the last stage of this video. Let's say you use Black Hole really well and one day you decided you don't want it or Mac launched a new feature and they include this feature into their system. So you no longer wish to use Black Hole. I'm going to quickly guide you guys through on how to uninstall these things. Okay, come to your finder, make sure it's open like this. Come to go, go to folder or command shift G. 
open it, you want to type library, exactly what I have here, and click on go. And then underneath this whole folder, you want to come to your audio. Okay, you want to come to you want to come to audio and click on plugins and then H A L Hall and come here. You're gonna see this black hole the driver. Just simply command delete or right click move to trash. You want to remove this folder. So after that, you simply restart your computer and black hole should be gone from your computer. That's it guys, that will be everything I want to include in this video. Do me a favor guys, if you're able to record it successfully, drop a comment in below or give it a like on this video. It will help many others to find a solution quickly. I know a lot of people right now are at home. They're trying to record some lectures. I see a lot of teachers are trying to record lectures for their students. And I, I'm really glad that this method can help them without them to spend a big budget on these kind of fancy equipment and setup. Drop any comments below. I'll do my best to reply you guys. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for watching. This is Tariel. I'm going to sign out. Cheers. Take care.